like a comfy, cozy piece of cashmere, but the thing about cashmere is you want it to last. Uh, and there are certain ways you can care for your cashmere to make it last a little longer, right? Well, there is, and I think after Christmas, I mean, cashmere may be one of those indulgences, but the same things that apply to cashmere obviously also apply to our fine woolens. It's just, for me, I think, you know, the worst cashmere purchase is the very first one. Why is that? Because then you're hooked. Oh, right. You're absolutely You know, it's an once you've experienced cashmere, you just, you know, you you got to love it. Mm -hmm. But the thing I love about cashmere, it's kind of like beef stew on a cold day. Mm -hmm. It's really comfy. Mm -hmm. It's it's it can be light, it's warm, it's airy, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you want to maintain it. And so many of us I think I've had that experience of mm -hmm. shipping our cashmere out to the dry cleaners and it comes back and it's never what we really had initially. Right. Uh, my feeling is that, you know, cashmere existed long before dry cleaners did, mm -hmm. as did all fine woolens and silks and linens and natural fabrics. And no, you can't throw them in the washing machine, the dryer, the way we do with our <laughs> synthetics, but you can certainly make use of your washing machine very easily. So many as technology goes, have advanced with our delicate cycles, our hand wash cycles, our top mm -hmm. loaders, all of those things, especially with the top loaders or the front loaders that don't have the agitation with that centerpiece in them anymore. You know, you can really do a fine job. And I actually think if you've got the right machine for it, um, you're safer to wash your cashmere in the machine than even by hand. Really? Because when you wash by hand, the washing process is lovely. You're just sort of letting it soak and you're squeezing it out. But then you have to roll and you can stretch it out when you're getting the excess water out. Okay. So when you're doing them in the machines, they accommodate it very nicely. Now, Euclid's come out with a new product. And of course, there are many products on the market for fine washables and delicates. But what I like about this one, I think we're all looking at sustainability. We're all looking at biodegradable. We're all looking at phosphate free. They've incorporated all of that. The other thing that's nice is they have lanolin in their product. And the lanolin is much like the nice soft oils. It, it keeps the softness in your cashmere. If you're using it with a machine, what's even more interesting is you lose, le use less water because you actually turn it to the rinse and spin cycle for delicates only. You don't put it through the wash cycle. You put this in the fabric dispenser and that's when it dispenses because this is a no rinse agent. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a wonderful thing. But It's the, also a lot easier if we can throw it in the washing machine. Absolutely. Because my cashmere will just sit there for, you know, half a year because I don't want to deal with hand washing it. Yeah. So it's nice that no, you, you can, can. And, and I think you can do it with regularity. You know, cashmere may not ne necessarily get that dirty, but what it does do is it picks up our body oils. Right. We want to get rid of those. Now, I'm going to tell you probably one of the key things about cashmere care, and that is at the end of the season when this winter is finally over, and you're going to store your cashmere, as many of them for the summer, please make sure the last thing you do is you wash all your cashmere. Those moths love our body oils, and that's when the moths get into your cupboards. So you need to get rid of the body oils, you need to get rid of the scents, use a product wash your cashmere and then actually unlike leather you can put your cashmere into plastic, in plastic. bags and seal if you have a cedar chest yes you can use a cedar chest if you don't mind the residue odor that comes from cedar yeah. but the other thing that also will keep the moths away is lavender and actually the euclid one of the uh, scents that it does do it does a natural scent but it does some others as well and one of them is lavender so that might be a good way or a lavender sachet in with your cashmere works so I think the whole key was just wash gently. When you go to dry your cashmere, either lay flat mm -hmm. to block Lynn, you can talk about that, but what I love, I happen to have a hanger I picked up years ago in Italy, mm -hmm. <coughs> and it's a blow-up hanger. Mm -hmm. oh, one yeah. around his shoulder. Lynn? I would bring you water, but I don't want that to happen again. No. We lost some no. Hermes scarves in that last uh, demo. Um, but so I let's also, talk a bit about But the I hanger. just, instead of folding, I yeah. find cashmere really creases as you fold it, right. particularly if you've got it in a, in a drawer or a closet. But what I liked about this is that I found the lingerie hangers. You can buy 20 of these for $12.99 at oh, HomeSense, so why deal. not take advantage of them? Uh -huh. But they really, what I will do is just hang them this way, and I get le uh, lavender sachets, and I hang one on each. Lynn, that's that. a perfect suggestion. That's how I do smart. it. Yeah. And I swear, yeah, but, but I, you're absolutely right. You must clean them at the end of each season to put them away. Now, if you are following what you've been talking about, 
about yes. uh, you know putting them in the in the the light sort of delicate, delicate cycle in the wash. Is this hopefully going to prevent pilling as well? Because that's that's well, terrible. You know, with pilling, your sweaters. pilling naturally occurs with cashmere. That right. has nothing to do with oh, the it's machine. It's nothing to do with it. it. It's Use one of those. It's your arm it's, against it's, your waist. It if you've snags. got a bulky knit cashmere. It's easiest to pick the balls yes. off by hand. Right. If you've got a finer cashmere, pick up one of the shavers yes. for it. Do it delicately. Make sure when you shave, you lay flat. Yes. If it's balled up, it can yes. pick at it. Yes. And if you're not careful, you get a hole. And last thing in passing, remember when you wash cashmere, always do it in cold water. Yes. Okay. Well, you talked a lot about Eucalyn. You like the product, I right? I do. Well, Eucalyn has sent a bottle of their no rinse delicate wash and lint removers for everyone in the audience. Oh, Yay! As well, we're going to be drawing for this Eucalyn gift basket that's after the show. Stay with us. We are having a fantastic fashion panel today.